I'll start by focusing on formal and informal organizational responses to ethical failures. Thinking of the organization rather than so much the individuals in the organization. Of course, the relationship between an organization and its members is not one directional, although I will focus on organizational factors that influence ethical and unethical behavior. Those organizational factors, whether formal policies or informal practices, at some point emerge from and are sustained by the actions and decisions of people. It's an ongoing process of mutual influence, often without a clearly identifiable starting point. In addition, I will add the proviso that it's entirely possible that different organizational factors contribute to particular problems in different parts of the church, a particular parish, parish diocese, etc. It's rather normal for organizations, and including probably the church, to have multiple elements that in fact might be loosely connected with each other, such that policies and practices in one part have little impact on practices elsewhere. That some observers point to uneven implementation of the Dallas Charter, for example, indicates that loosely connected practices indeed can occur in the church, like any other large complex organization. <clears throat> 